Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, this video was prompted by a question that I had on the last video I made, which was about what type of container I use to grow. Um, so I guess it didn't really make it very evident that I use these bags right now to actually grow. So the last step that I don't really uh, show everyone is how the spawn run or the my mycelium run goes. So right now, um, well, after I sealed these bags up with just basically a knot at the top, um, I put them in this aquarium and I think this aquarium is maybe, and I just use this because it can hold water and I poke holes in these bags and any excess water kind of drains out. Um, and it's pretty nasty down here. So at some point I will have to, um, maybe tomorrow I'll give it another day or so to, you know, drain. And tomorrow I will, um, empty out this aquarium and let it still continue to sit in here. And what's going to happen is, and hopefully you can see some of it here, is that the mycelium is slowly starting to grow. And um, from the spawn that was in here, started, it's starting to colonize the straw. So these are um, summer white oyster mushrooms. I have no idea how long um, that may take. Here's a kitty. Uh, I have no idea how long these will take, but usually it's about a 10 day to 14 day run. Uh, sometimes I've had aggressive strains that are ready to start pinning in about a week. Uh, but usually those are pinks or pohus or something like that. Um, so uh, I think these are golden, uh, these bags right here. But the concept is uh, that I, just to kind of explain here is that I do have to poke holes in these bags because the mycelium inside of here is actually a living organism. And as it's growing, it is breathing and it has to exhale, um, you know, inhale and exhale. So there's going to be a certain amount of uh, at least, you know, uh, waste that is generated. It has to be able to uh, breathe. And of course, I don't want too much moisture in here. So uh, any excess moisture, because I was really in a rush, and usually I, I am when I do this, I've learned over time that the best thing to do, I had an extra aquarium and uh, decided to just use the aquarium as um, somewhere that even, you know, even though we're inside, I don't have to worry about too much of a mess. However, uh, you usually have to empty the water at some point, usually just once. Um, and uh, after that, you're, you're tip, you know, you're usually fine because it drains out just in a few days. So uh, hopefully that explains a little bit more that, you know, the uh, mushroom mixing I was doing was for um, what will eventually, you know, what was to be put in these bags and uh, it will fruit from these bags and it will actually fruit. You can't see the holes because I used a, a fork, if you will, to poke the holes in there. But the mushroom will actually, when it's time, will start fruiting from the holes. And uh, it's, you know, pretty much an easy process from there. So now it's just waiting and keeping the temperature. Uh, right now it's room temperature. It's in the house. It's uh, pretty much in a section of the uh, living room. So... Um, it's pretty much whatever room temperature is, uh, that I'm dealing with is I don't do anything special. I don't have a special room for that or anything. Uh, and in some instances I even do it outside. So, um, there are some temperature, you know, uh, guidelines that you have to follow, you know, for a spawn run, but for the most part, for mostly what I grow, uh, room temperature is fine. All right. You guys have a good one.